So let's talk about the proper way to put on your hoop. So you want to make sure your hoop goes around your waist with not a lot of leg. So you want it kind of snug, but not to the point where you're smothering yourself. So you don't want it like that. So go ahead and put it on. All right, all right. Now, if you put those little white things on yours, great. If you didn't, just make sure you don't do it uh, without some type of shirt on. All right, all right. So we make sure it clicks. Listen, it needs to click like a seat belt. So you want to make sure it clicks because as the ball pulls it around, you don't want it to come loose. And mine has done that before because I didn't click it and listen for the click. I was just ready to roll, baby. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. So, and again, this is a new month, so I'm back at the beginning of explaining how to do this. So you want to make sure your hoop is up, and so it's not drooping in the front or the back. So mine's is really not going to droop in the back, and we know why, but I'm just saying. So you want to make sure that it's up here. Then we have the move that's called the wiggle. So all you're going to do is just rock from right to left or left to right. When you take your ball, you want to just toss it around. When we toss it around and our hoop is securely placed on our waist, it's going to do the work. Look at that. See how it just goes around. It's not going up and it's not going down. Now, when you rock, Right and left. Let's talk about that rocking right and left. So take a look at my feet. My feet are slightly more than my shoulder length apart. So that's what you want to make sure you are paying attention to. Make sure your feet, because you, if, if you're doing it like this, you probably will feel it more so than you need to. But if you have your feet apart a little bit more than shoulder length apart, you'll be all right, okay? So you want to just rock like that. See how I'm just rocking? So today we will be very basic. If you are advanced, go right ahead and do your thing, all right? Just checking some of the comments in case anybody has questions. Remember, this is the first week in April, so I'm just basically going over the beginning. Uh, uh, who is that? Uh, Lara, you need to go to YouTube and look at those videos so you can learn how to cast your phone or your device to your TV. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> okay, so here we go. We are here. Take that ball, throw it around and just rock now don't don't do all this that's what i did when i first got mine i was fighting against the ball i was come on thing come on get it around i was i was oh, i was doing all of that but that's not what you need to do take it around just like that take it around and you can even go slower with it or you could speed it up. So the more you get comfortable with it, the more things you'll be able to do. All right, we're going to add some music because music makes things better. So we're going to call this move the wiggle. Let's get us some music. And we're going to do it for just 10. Let's get it going around. Let's get it going around 10 times. So we got our feet. Get set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10. All right. If your string is long, then that gives you a little bit more leeway because the ball is not going to move as fast. But if you shorten your string, your ball will move faster, which means you're going to have to move faster. Let's do it again. So taking it around, just taking it around. There we go. And around. I don't know what number we're on because I didn't count. Hopefully you're not either and your ball is still moving. All right, keep taking it around. Let's stop. So that's going to be our wiggle, right, left, or left, right. Let's talk about that foot in front of you. So when you put that foot in front of you, I want you to think back when we used to play rope, when we used to jump rope as kids, and we kind of went like that. So that's kind of what you're going to do. You're actually going to push off on your back foot, your back leg. So you want to take that ball again. I'm right-handed. If you're left-handed, do it with your left. Me and my left side, you know, we ain't, you know, we be trying, but me and the right side got it going on. So here we go. Let's go. So again, same thing. Push off on that back. Push off on your back leg and get the ball going around. So right now, I'm not worried about fancy stuff. I'm just trying to get you to figure what works better for you. Do it again. Ready? Let's go. So make sure, let me turn it a little so you can see. But you want to make sure that that hoop is up and not drooping. So you can get that ball going around. So you want to push off on your back leg. Now, what do they call that? I don't know. Just push off on it, okay? You just bam, bam, act like you're going to run into that rope. So even without the ball moving right now, I want you to do it. Act like you're going to run into the rope. Come on, feel it. Let's go. Come on. You know you used to jump double dutch back in the days. Come on. Rock them legs. I like the way she rock her hips. Yeah. Okay, so there you go. Rock your hips. Now let's try it. Let's see how long we can go. Let's see if we can do it for 10 and then 20. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. I hope you was able to do it for 10. Comment. Let me know. This is really for the beginners, the beginners, the beginners. If you want to purchase a hoop, the link is at the top. I can put the link right here too. I can put the link here for you. There we go. Bam. And pin it. Pin. Okay, somebody did eight. Okay, Jennifer. That's close. You're going to do 10. You're going to do 10. You're going to go, you're going to do 10 before this live end. So let's do it again. Now, put that leg in front of you. And remember, this is what you're doing. Uh, that's it. You're going to rock with it, rock with it, lean with it, rock with it. Now, I'm just turning sideways so you can see how I'm doing it. Ready? Get set. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, all right, all right. Let's add a little music. Y'all hear that beat? Feel the music. Feet apart, both ways. Just rock. Don't even do nothing with that ball yet. Just rock. Pretend the ball is moving. Now get the ball. Let's get ready to make it move. Ready? Get set. Let's go. Come on. Get it going around. Just rock, 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 rock. That's all you're doing. Keep going. Keep going. We're not even counting. We're not worried about that. We're just trying to feel our way through this. Come on. Take it on the ground. Five more seconds. Five. Keep it going. Three. Come on, elbows up. Two. And one. All right. Come in. Let me know if you was able to do that. Run to that screen. Say I did it. Or if you didn't do 
know it. Say I didn't do it. Run to that screen for me. All right. I'm going to give you 60 seconds. Come on. Now we're going to do that again. We're going back to this stance where our feet are slightly more than shoulder length apart. Get your ball. You ready? Throw it around. Ready? Let's go. Come on. Just throw it around. Even if it stop, I just want you to feel it. Rock. And rock. And as you are rocking, hold your stomach muscles in. Come on. We're just being very basic right now. We're not turning around. Our arms are not moving. We're not walking forward and backwards or anything. Come on now. Come on. Five for seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Let me know if you're able to do that. Put your hands in the air. This is stick up. All right now. Comment and let me know if you were able to do that. What that say? Put your hands up. Because you have an order. So this time we're going to put that leg in front of you. Put it in front of you. Put your foot down. Now rock. Come on. Rock. Rock. Now you're going to get ready to add that ball. Rock. So that means you're putting behind, the foot behind you. Make sure you're close off that foot. And rock. And rock. Let's throw it. While you're doing this, your feet should still be slightly more than shoulder length apart. Uh-huh. Still should be slightly more than shoulder length apart now. Work it, work it. Come on. So let me turn with it. So see, my feet are still slightly more than shoulder length apart. So I'm able to control this ball. That's what you got to do. You have to be able to control it. You can slow it down, you can speed it up. All right, let's stop. Let's get ready to do that again. So when you are right here, you still wanna make sure that your feet, I don't know if my music is too loud, but you still wanna make sure that your feet, hey! Okay, focus training. Slightly more than shoulder length apart. Let's do it again. Let's try for 20 seconds. That's all. 20 seconds. Grab that ball. Ready? Get set. Let's go. 20 seconds. I'll let you know when we're halfway there. Come on. Work it. Work it. We got 10 seconds to go. Come on. It's going to go by so fast. Five seconds, four seconds, three seconds, two seconds, one. You see, it went by so fast. I think you're ready. Bring it here. Feet apart. Again, slightly more than shoulder length apart. Let's do it for 20 seconds. Let's go. Come on, just take it around. Rock to the beat if you can. If you can't, don't worry about it right now because you're trying to learn how to control the ball. Keep going. Rock it. Rock it. In five, four, three, two, one. All right. How you doing out there? Give me some feedback. Let me know how you're doing. How are you doing? Yes, you got to keep practicing, Kelly. Come on, don't stop. Hey, Renee Moody. You got to keep going. I need the belt. Can you help? I don't know what that means. This is a hoop, so I'm not sure what that means. Checking the 
see, I gotta put one leg in front. Oh, Makita! What's up, Makita? Makita Ray in the house, y'all. Yeah, put that one leg in the front. All right, boys. You said you did it. You said you did it. Let's bring it on back. I'm gonna challenge y'all, okay? Now remember, you gotta practice, especially if you just got your food. You have to practice every day because in order for you to do all this, you're gonna have to practice. You're gonna have to practice. You gotta practice. Oh, you see that reverse? You gotta practice. That's all I'm saying. You wanna dance with it and all of that? You have to practice. You gotta get the basics first. I'm gonna let you have to explain these Got it too tight. Oh, is the ball hitting you? <laughs> You'll be all right. Keep making roll. All right, y'all. Here we go. We got a couple of minutes, so let's rock it out. Let's try to do it for 20 seconds, three times this way, and then 20 seconds with that leg in front of us, three times. All right. So we got our ball. We're going for 20 seconds. We're going to do it three times, even if the ball drops. Let's go. Come on. 20 seconds. And counting. Keep your hands up and control it. You have 10 seconds to go. It goes by so fast. Keep that ball going and rock. Three, two, one. All right. Stay in position. If you need to do this, you know, shake it off. Because I know in the beginning you be tense because you're trying to get it. That's okay. Let's go again. Grab that ball. Ready? Get set. Make sure you hold these stomach muscles in as you're working. Go. 20 seconds. Yes. Work it out. Keep the ball up. Come on. I had them apple bottom jeans. Oh, don't let me start singing, y'all. Come on. Three, two, and one. We're going to do it one more time. Yes, we are. Yeah, I had to get a little volume over here. There we go. I had to turn my little volume up a little bit. Let's get ready to do it again. All right. Get in position. Slightly more than the shoulder length apart. Ball is in your hand. Throw it. Let's go. 20 seconds. Oh. Uh. 10 seconds. It goes by so fast. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. That was it. That was it. Seconds to go. Ten, nine, eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, baby. Come on now. We're getting it in. I need one more. I need one more. Come on, I need one more. Ball in the front. Taking it for 20 seconds. Let's go. Come on. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. That's all I need. If you got to look at the floor, do that. Because sometimes when you're looking at my ball and you're looking down at yours, it may get you confused. Come on. Dang, that 20 seconds went by fast. Uh-uh. Five. Four. Now, if you got it, three. Two. Join me. Let's go. Take it around. 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 Walk it up. One. Get my feet right. Three. Come on. Walk it back. Let's go. Take it back. Take it up. Bring it back. Walk it up. Keep walking. Take it back. Turn around with it. Around with it. Turn around with it. Turn around with it. Turn around with it. Stay right here and work it. And work it. Now put one leg in the front. Let's rock and rock and rock. Hands up. Now put them down and rock. Four, three, two. Toot that hip up. Oh, you got it. And rock. And rock, y'all. All right. All right. I'm going to calm down. Because we be, we toot our hip up now with it. Toot it up. All right. We're going to calm down. Beginners, Tuesday and Thursday, 5.15 to 5, 5.30. Maybe I don't know how to tell time. It's like 5.43. But I wanted to really take my time and explain how to put this on, how it should be positioned on your waist and making sure that ball is moving. So again, keep practicing. Don't give up. You just bought it. If you want to get this, the link is included in the comment section as well as the top of the video. Uh, I'm not sure if, thank you so much for the stars. I'm not sure if the code still works, but you can try it. I'm not making any guarantees, but someone did say the code was still working. The code is thick and the number 20. All right, all right, all right, y'all. See you Thursday. Tomorrow, practice. Continue to practice. Even if you only practice for 10 minutes, continue to practice until you feel it and you get it. But it is a great workout. Also, count your links. See where you are with your links. Because if you stay consistent, you will love this infinity hoop. Ooh! Take a picture. Take a pop. Let me pose so you can take a picture. Yes, okay? All right, y'all. See y'all Thursday. Thank you for coming. Bye.